back guys today i'm on the mac and i'm looking at a program called a mentally desktop for mac os it's a referencing program helps you to cite to help you with your studies it's a free program but you have to create an account so that way you can store all your sources online in the cloud and access them and share them so first thing i want to do is type in mentally mac download and select the link there where it says mentally desktop for mac os i want you to select the middle option there to download mentally desktop once downloaded, it'll ask you to sign up. And I say it's completely free, so don't worry. So sign up for that. I've already done that. And I'm going to open up my Mendeley now. And I'm going to sign in with an account. And there you go. Starts up automatically. Now you get this window pop up. Don't worry, that's just confirming the first thing, the reference manager, which is your Mendeley is installed correctly. And the second option is to put a plugin for your Microsoft Word. So obviously once you've done your research and grabbed your sources you then need to cite your work and create your bibliography so that enables you to do that in a word document you can also here if i zoom in a little bit here you can actually add a document on library so if you've been using endnote xml files or even bibtex which is a reference management software for formatting lists of references or even an ris or other file you can import it using the import button and then that will put all your sources into Mendeley, which you can start working off. But I have got EndNote on here, but I don't want to import them for now. I just want to keep it simple. So I want to click close. I'm going to open up Mendeley. And let's minimize the browser. You can try your web plugin now if you want to import documents. And when you click offline, it grabs the research. It grabs the tools for you automatically. Do that later. Click next. Tells you about your cloud you can upload to and synchronize and click next again. There's a help button as well, so it'll bring up help options to help you out. So now we're good to go. So let's look at the interface first. It's a lot like the PC version. Come to the left, we have a literature search. So let me try that out. So I'm going to type in there, let's just put nursing as an example, click the enter key. And there you go, it searches for research information for me on that subject. So then I could come down and select nursing theories and nursing practice and to the right here it's got my source information I can choose to save that source information by selecting it here I can also read the abstract double tap the link here it should take me to that website link so then I can access that information from there as well so go back to Mendeley I'm going to select save reference but before I do I've got two options to save folders. I could save folders in my library here. That way I can access them when I'm offline. But today I'm just going to save them in my groups option there where I can create groups. So that way I can share any sources as well. Come to the left here. We're going to need folders. We need organisation. So first thing I'm going to select a group. Tap into there. Let's give it a name. I'll just call that. Nursing. General Adult Nursing. I want that public, invite only or private. I'm going to have that private and select create group. It's only I can see that. I don't want to invite anyone to this group for my sources. And there's my first group. Now, if I do a right click on that, I've done a two finger tap on the trackpad. I'll select a new folder. I can then add in, say, the heart, for example. I'm getting organization already. So I've got nursing, main group, and heart as a subfolder underneath. I go back to literature search. Let's choose a few. I'm going to add that reference, and I'm going to go on the fundamentals of nursing, and go back to nursing theories and nursing practice. And I'll click save. Now, if I go to all documents, they're now added. Now I can choose what I want to do with them. I mean, I could add them to my favourites here by tapping them, and then they'll be ultimately added to my favourites folder here. Or if I prefer. I tap on there, hold shift, tap at the end, and drag them into my heart folder as an example. Go into my heart folder, I've now saved them. We've got my old documents, they're not actually saved yet. You need to organize them, put them into whatever folders you need to. And there they are organized. So now if I tap on them on the right, I've got the source information. Top says journal, got me abstract, I've got the year, and information in the bottom, including the DOI number. Anything missing? Remember, double tap the link, bring it up, then you can add the required missing information. There's my second, which is a report, and my third, which is a book. 
So there you go, I'm just using a built-in literature search option. Just a good point here you might want to do. I'm going to open up that link. Now select get full text. Now I can't access a lot of information because I don't have an account. But if you're doing a degree, you'll get an account to access a lot of this information. Now I'm going to have a little look down. So say there's a bit of information you want. I might highlight that just for argument's sake. Command C. I'm going to go back to Medley. And there's a source I got it from. Select Notes. And then I can two finger tap and paste that information into there. So I could highlight information, couldn't I? I could kind of bold out or underline it and so on. So I can annotate what I'm doing as well. So that's the first option you're going to use is your literature search. Bottom left hand corner, you can see here is all the authors. So if you're looking for a specific author, you can click into there and find them. But remember, I can't click into there unless I've already downloaded them, as you can see here. Then I can access them or type in to find out what I'm looking for. And I can filter by tags, that's information within your sources, publication, authors, or other keywords. So I'm going to come up here and clear that. What happens if you've got a book in your hand? Well, then you have to come up to this option here, which is a little drop down option here and select add entry manually. So again, if it doesn't pick up a journal or any kind of source, you can add it manually quickly here as well. Let's say you've got a book. Remember book section is a book with multiple authors. So don't get confused with book or book section. So I'm going to select a book and then you can start adding your author. Just making this up, obviously, and then put your year in, correct format, and so on, depending on what reference style you're using. And click save. So you can add your references manually as well. Tap on it, you have all your information on the right. You can also add it here manually if you want by clicking into it and add the information in there as well. So I'm going to open up Safari. And I'm going to type in World Caps. And let's say doing a bit of research online. Obviously, you probably use something more like PubMed. As I've got an account for that, I can't really access information. So I'm just going to use this as an example. I'm going to type in just heart general search. And tick the source you want. I'm going to open up the source. And there we go. I can access it through there. And then I come up to site export. So I've got an option where to export it to. So I'm going to export it to reference manager. I open it up, we now have an RIS file, which means I can now open it up in Mendeley. So you can grab loads of sources, select the option, add files, and then select your sources. And then that will import them in. And there you go. And again, you can hold the left button and drag that into one of your folders. So if I go into heart, you're now building up your sources. If I come to the top here, I did mention to you earlier about you having a little plug-in on your browser. So I want to go up to the top and select Tools. And we should be able to install it from here, where it says Install Web Importer. So it says here, drag the button to your favourite bar. And drag it up. I'm going to drag it in between there. And I've got my option there, Save to Mendeley. Let's do a general search online. I use heart cardio. Open up a link. Then use this option. Save to Mendeley. And this will pop up. And it'll try and find the information for that website. Now it's not found everything. It's got the link. It's got the date assessed. And the title. So anything missing, you're going to have to add. And you can even paste your abstract in there if you want as well. When you're happy, select save. There's no PDF for this. Now we've saved it. Now if I actually go to web library, and that's why you create an account in the first place, because you can store them online in the cloud. Also you can import from other, other reference manager software, like EndNote, Sortero and so on, by just dragging and dropping them into there. But I don't want to do that, I want to close that. And click next and close. And again here you can create folders, so I might call this heart and there you go create a heart folder 
So if I click into it, I can then drag and drop any journals or information, even upload documents online to support my research and access it anytime. Again, you've got all documents and you can see I did that earlier from that website here. So I can click on that. And again, I can choose to export straight to MS Word or add to what folder I want, heart folder. We can drag and drop it and select add to and let them be in my heart folder to access. So what I'm going to do is go back to Mendeley. So there's three methods we've got. We've got the online search. We've got adding books manually and online research. How about journals? So I'm going to just go back to heart folder. Go back online. I'm going to open up Safari. And see if I can find a journal. There we go. And there's some journals here. So I'm going to select that. We'll do. There we go. So I can select to download this journal, which I'm going to do now by tapping this little option here. And there you go, I've downloaded them. So I'm going to open up in Finder and open up Mendeley. Now we can add them a couple of ways. We can use the Add button, or if I minimize that a little bit for you, we can drag them in. So I'm going to lock this in and open my download folder up. And I'm going to drag them in. Hold the left button and let's have a look. I'm going to maximize the window. There's my journal, my source information all listed on the right again. I'm ready to cite my work. I'll go back again to Safari. I could use that option. Save to Mendeley Online as well, couldn't I? And I can grab that information there quickly as well, look. And then select, I can choose folder or groups to save it in, a heart folder or nursing one, and select the ones I want to save it into both, and click save. And that's saved with the PDF. So if I go to web library, there it is all safe. Well, I'm going to go back to Mendeley and come up to sync option. Remember, it's all synced. So if I select sync, that will sync them anyway. See, I can now access them here. So anything you've done online and saved, you can then sync it straight to your desktop. You can sync it straight to your Mac and access that information from there as well. And it's so easy to do. Another option I'm going to show you quickly, I'm going to go to Heart Option. I'm going to choose any, any source. That would do. We've got an option here called Related. So if I select it, it will try and find journals or source information related to that. It's not always perfect. So let's select nursing theories and nursing practice and select related. And it will try and bring up anything related to that. It's not always perfect, but it's a good option for you to look at as well. You can click on it and it gives you the information. And remember, double tapping the link brings up the source that you can then access directly from. So I'll go back to Mendeley. I'll click close disappears. If it's sources you don't want, hold shift and tap to the end of where you want to get rid of. And I can select delete documents and they're gone. And then that puts them into your all deleted documents option there as well. So now we've got some sources. Now we need to actually cite your work in a Word document. Before I go to Word, just make sure go to tools and you've installed your MS Word plugin. Really important or you won't be able to cite your work. So let's open up Word. And a blank document. Now let's maximize that window so we can see it clearly. Now come to the top on your tab and select references on a ribbon. See this little option here? It's adding a little plugin for your add in so you can start citing your work. So I'm going to select Open Mendeley. You need to choose your reference style here. Now let's have a little look through. They've got Cite Them Right Harvard which is a common one. You've got Chicago APA for Psychology. And if you're doing law, you're going to need Oscola. So you can type in to look or select Get More Styles. So let me just put Oscola in as an example. And I'll select that and select Install. And that will install it to your database. Also, if you've got an actual link to a download style, you can add it in there and download it. And click Done. Now to access your styles, come up the top here. Go to View. Citation style, 
and choose the one you want. So I'm going to go with site name right. So I need something to actually reference. So I'm going to select heart. Click on that and have a look. So I'm actually reference some of this abstract. So I'm going to highlight it. Command C. I'm going to put that into the Word document as an example. Command V. We're now going to cite our work. This is the option where to insert or edit citation or merge citations. So I'm going to click the drop down menu because it still hasn't gone to cite them right. There we go. I'm going to select insert to insert a citation. It's going to ask me what one I want. Now, if you can't remember the name of it, if I just type letters in, it will give me sources with those letters in it. But I want specific ones. If I select down here, I could choose my nursing folder, for example. Or if you can't remember, just select go to Mendeley. Select the one you want. And at the top, you've got an option that says cite. Select it. And that will take us back to Word and cite your work. You now see your in-text citation there. Once you cite all your work, at the end, you need your bibliography. And that's when you choose your reference style here and select insert bibliography. And that will create your reference list. In this instance, it's the Harvard Referencing System. I mean, you're not happy with that reference style because some people use multiple reference styles, don't they? You can change it and maybe use APA for psychology. Select refresh just to make sure it's refreshed the in-text citation. It's happy with that. And select insert bibliography. And then that will do the APA style for you as well. Also, if I want to go to more styles, get more styles, I'm going to select use this style. And click done. And then takes me back to Word. Drop down menu. I'm going to use, I'm going to get rid of that. I want to show you a bit of footnoting as well that could be useful. So let's get rid of those citations. So I'm going to change this. I've got an option footnoting, which is modern humanities. Select that. Now again, I'm going to go to insert citation. And I'm going to use any source. That will do. So my nursing folder, select OK. So it's footnoted automatically for me one at the top there. And if I scroll down, you have your footnote one there underneath. So that works with Oscola as well when you're footnoting. There's a quick video tutorial on using Mendeley on the Mac. It's similar to the PC version, but it should be enough to get you up and running. Thanks for watching.